We're at the Revic booth with Chris Thomas, VP of Operations. Revic, Revolutionary Optics, fairly new company. Tell us a little bit about the history of, of Revic and, and, and what's behind it. Well, it started as a, uh, as a spinoff from Gunworks. Uh, of course, Gunworks has a lot of long-range technology innovations. Um, I have a 20-year background in optics. I used to be with a company called Premier Reticles. And so Aaron Davidson and I came together to develop this, this new concept for a heads-up display integrated ballistic computer without taking away from the primary function of a conventional rifle scope. Now, this is an amazing piece of technology. We spent a few minutes off camera for you to demo this, and I'm really excited to share it with our audience. So, tell us a little bit about the scope that we have here. Okay, it's, it's built on a four and a half to 28, 56 objective, 34 millimeter tube. Uh, again, it's, it's just a, a, a normal rifle scope. It has a heads-up display built in that's going to show you your BDC value, but real-time and dynamic. So it's doing an air sampling of the temperature, pressure, and also incline constantly. So every time you make a click, it's recalculating the ballistic solution. So you have environmental sensors built in, as well as the electronics as the ballistic calculator and all of that, yes. right in the scope. Yes. Amazing. Now, as far as a little bit about kind of the interface here, I, I notice on the side focus or the parallax adjustment, there's an interface here. Tell us a little bit about this and, and what you can control on it. Okay, what I can do is I can show you here up on our screen. Okay. So as you can see, as I turn the elevation turret, it's showing me my calculated distance based on that turret position. I can go in and I can change some settings. I can enter a wind call, so I can enter the wind speed and the wind direction. And now it's showing me a left hold three minutes. So I can hold that in the reticle or I can dial that in the windage turret. Okay. There's also some other functions. I can change reticle color. So the illumination can be changed, red, green, blue, yellow. I can also set the sleep time so I can optimize battery life by having it shut down every five minutes, 10 minutes, okay. whichever. So once my ballistics are programmed in here for my load, uh, and I'm trying to adjust the elevation to my target, as long as I know the distance, I'm just dialing to, for example, here, the 499. Yes, you're, you're taking a normal range finder and you're measuring line of sight distance. Okay. You don't want to do any angle compensation. That's already being done inside the scope. So let's go to a longer distance. So as you can see, as my angle changes, it's going to recalculate the distance. Right. Very nice. Now, uh, the I'm seeing here that the turrets are demarcated in MOA, so it's an MOA scope? Yeah, currently we have MOA. Okay, and it is mill on the drawing boards? Probably later this year. <clears throat> right now okay. we're finalizing our reticle pattern that's going to be more geared towards the PRS crowd. Okay. Now, the scope and the optics itself, tell us a little bit about um, where about those components. Okay, it's a first focal plane uh, reticle. Um, again, it's, it's based on a four and a half to 28 uh, magnification. Okay. <clears throat> it uses a single AAA battery that also serves as the cattail throw lever. Okay. Uh, one battery is gonna give about 25 to 30 hours continuous runtime. Okay. Uh, if the battery does die, or if you replace a battery and you turn your turret, it has an absolute encoding system, so it always knows where it is. And when you power it back up, all the information is still stored in the memory. I see. And what does it come with as far as accessories? I see are, these are the uh, tactical tough or, or the Tenebrex. Yeah, so these are the caps. Tenebrex, yep. So the articulating covers that also flip all the way back. Okay. Uh, that's, that's pretty common with most military scopes nowadays. Right. Um, that's really it. I mean, that's. Pricing and warranty, what do we have? Uh, pricing is uh, $27.50, and that's a direct-to-consumer pricing model. We don't have any distribution or dealers. Okay. Uh, what we do is we want direct-to-consumer, which means the relationship is directly with the customer, not through a dealer or not through any other channels. Right. Uh, the warranty is lifetime on the optics and mechanics, 
and then five years on the electronics. Okay. Now, what other piece of the puzzle here is I've got a load. I may customize it. It could change. How do I how do I actually apply that information to the scope? Okay. <clears throat> we have an app. So we have a Rebic Ops app. And what I do is I'll build a ballistic profile based on my caliber, zero, sight height, barrel twist. And then we have an ammo library, so I'll put in my velocity, okay. uh, BC, length of bullet. And then that will be Bluetooth over to the scope. Gotcha. Once that's done, you put the phone away. There's no other connectivity necessary. And this will hold how many profiles? This will hold three profiles at any given time. Very good. Great. Chris, terrific information. I'm glad you could share that with us. I'm really excited about the product you have to uh, offer. Uh, again, check it out, guys, Revic Optics. Great. And uh, best of luck. Thank you very much.